Okay, it's now morning of the next day. Or, well, maybe it's two days later. I can't remember. Um, I went down and cleaned up Starlight Drive-In. Let's go down there and finish getting that built. And then we can head up to Ten Pines of Bluff. And oh, I better I better collect some supplies before I go and do that. We're gonna need some circuits. Uh, we'll just we'll just grab some. It doesn't matter. We'll need some gears, some oil. Let's take that, and some steel. We'll take that. That already gets good started. Uh, now we can go down to Starlight. And so I got this whole area cleaned up. Except for... Nope, I think I... Uh, there's a few other things I can scrap. Like this mole rat or hole. This trash right here. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We'll just jump up here and... Add another turret, and that will satisfy. Gosh, we're gonna have to fix this floating thing here. Um, I'll have to probably watch. Uh, the school zone is back. I don't know if you're aware of the school zone. Um, he is a magnificent creator of settlements. Uh, he does use. He shows you all the tricks, the pillar glitch, the rug glitch, the all the things. He'll show all those things. Anyway, he take taking a small hiatus to work on his novel. Sounds like it is on the come, anyways, and which is which is great. So he is now back, and we'll see some more Fallout Four stuff. I'm assuming until. I think he did mention until Starfield came about, um, which I don't know. I think Starfield is going to be um, next-gen Xbox only, so I don't know when or if I'll ever play it. Um, it was a huge surprise for me to be able to even get Fallout or a PS5 during Christmas. Uh, I just so happened to be online when I saw that the local Walmart had had a few, and I went and talked to them, and they're like, oh, yeah, we got a couple of boxes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, School Zone is back, so if you're curious about uh, some settlement building or need some creativity or any such thing, then make sure you stop by his channel. I can link it in the description and see some really neat uh, settlement building techniques. Now that should bring the concierge. He usually arrives somewhere. We could, well, we can't wait here like this. Waiting here is different than Skyrim. So let's just have a, a seat and wait for a minute. There. Maybe he will have show. Come on. What's the delay? Where's he at? Usually he shows up over here at Starlight. Because I have satisfied the requirements, if I recall. Yeah. So if we fast travel, maybe... Maybe that'll bring him. He'll give you a quest. Um, maybe the... Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We'll have to catch up with him later. We have to go up here to Ten Pines. So let's just catch up to that guy later. He'll give you a quest to do... I do have a mod that prevents any kind of like... Radiant quests from going outside of the Commonwealth. So everything will take place within. So you're not sent to Nuka World to kill off the gunner traders. You know, because maybe you don't want to. Maybe you want to keep them. 
but the concierge can send you a request to go and kill that guy to Nuka World, and you can go to Nuka World anytime you want, if you're not aware of that. There's not a restriction. There's only a survivability factor that you have to concern yourself with. There's no restriction at all. Um, we're at whatever, what level are we at? 18? 16? What's going on here? Why am I... Oh, okay. Uh, we could go right now. Um, and with this character and her sneak skills, probably make it all the way to Nuka World. No problems. Especially if we win at nighttime, because we've got enough sneak that we can sneak around. And we've got a spacesuit, and we also have access to easily procure a hazmat suit if we, if we didn't have Morgan's spacesuit. Or you didn't like the fact that it was just added to your inventory. Um, it's not a matter of when you can go. It's a matter of survival when you get there. Um, I wouldn't... and Actually, I wouldn't be... Oh, I don't need that. Ugh, what am I taking that for? I wouldn't be at all concerned about going to Nuka World with a stealth character. Um... You know, especially if you had the spray and pray, for example, because it's incredibly devastating to all life forms. It is not settler friendly, so you definitely want to have a backup weapon if you're going to be having settlements because um, the explosiveness. Now, who is it that we do we talk to her? Another day of hard. It's not her. It's him. I can't remember. It's been a while. You find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them for yeah, you. I took care of them. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So <laughs> we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, Frank. Sure, no problem. Excellent. So now what we need to do right away is come over to the workshop and open it up build some defenses it'll be sloppily put together um, we can scrap some of this stuff over here real quick we need to build ourselves some small pause for this USO integrated stuff we'll get rid of that bramble there Let's build some scaffolding real quick. This is the easy way. We should have enough for 13 turrets. That's good. Like so, like so. Now, although you don't have to, I usually put a turret over here. Um, only because occasionally you'll get attackers from this location. This is not a normal location for attackers. But you will get them occasionally. Especially like ghouls, if you have to you know, defend for ghouls. They tend to come from this direction, oddly enough. Otherwise, everything comes, uh, for the most part, they all come from that center, central location right around the, the shack there, the old home front. That's not, they don't typically, I mean, you can't get attackers there, and that is the spawn point for attackers. They just, every time I show up here, when this place is under attack, they're all hovered around over here. So we will take and oop, need to jump up here. Clear some of this trash out of the way. Get rid of that big old elm. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. So there's nothing for the bad guys to hide behind. This also gives us a little more. space to work with. 
it's unfortunate that the enemies spawn right here because this is it's one of those settlements where there's limited availability of building out horizontally. You could probably build fairly high vertically, but so we can stick this one here, this one here, that'll get it started. And then there are always enemies that come down from this direction. It's a bit of a catch-22 because they spawn here next to this water pump. And of course that water pump draws attention. So let's put that there. Now these turrets will definitely, especially pointing this direction, get replaced. Actually, we could move this water pump. Why don't we just move it? Why don't I think of that earlier? Just move it over here where we're not going to be having any build space. There, you still have your water, and now it's not something that can draw too much attention. These will typically, these ones here, absolutely get replaced with missile turrets. Because you have enemies that come from, you know, around that tree up this hillside. And with Missile Church, you'll have all kinds of advantages because of the explosive damage they do, the area of effect damage that they do. So that gets us started. Very good. We'll close that up. We'll have to go talk to Preston. First, let's cruise over to the... How much? How many caps? Have we? We, got a, we got enough caps to get the spraying price. So let's stop by real quick to Bunker Hill and see if Cricket is there. It's the dock. He's got nothing for us. Cricket is a far and wide wanderer. You will find her from Bunker Hill to um, Vault 81 to Diamond City, all the way out to the Warwick Homestead. She wanders a long way. I guess maybe they don't trust anybody with Winter lesser... Okay. <laughs> with lesser ammo. <laughs> Let's talk to talk to Pam. Human machine interface to 100%. Good evening, agent. My data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure from any hostels in its vicinity. Tell me about the mission. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate <laughs> and unlock the cache upon close proximity. Got it. Agent's assessment is correct. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Jackpot hub. Okay, let's go see what Tinker Tom wants real quick. He's gonna start sending us on his some other quest. Hey, yo! Tinker Tom. Stop snoozing with Deacon over there. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Oh, boy. Give me details. So my sensor, I call a Mila, needs to be up high, 
real hot. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? Right. Tell me where to put me, my friend. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. Back street apparel, huh? Hey there. I was power napping and whammo, it hit me. Got some ideas on how to kid out the liver. Make your super badass gun even more. Well, more. So check out my stock. Okay. I'll take a look. Made a new batch of whatnots for you. <laughs> Powerful receiver. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Can we inspect it? Oh, we already have the powerful receiver, so it's nothing he can do for us. Not mods wise. All right, uh, very good. Well, how about if we let's take uh, this one and this one? We're prepping for our. We don't need any missile launchers. What do you want? Let's see. What do we have to sell? We can. We to make sure we have enough stuff to sell. Let's. There's some buff out. That'll work. And here's a bunch of jet. We just overload them and then we'll just buy ammo to uh, even things back out. Very good. So we're going to want all of this 45. And do you have any 556? Five, five, you do, in fact, have some 556. Five, five, Very good. We don't need the Argent Plasma. We can take these tens. There we go. We're plus 256. That's good enough for us. Thank you. Have a nice afternoon. All right. So Backstreet Apparel. We're going to hang on to that for just a moment. Now, let's go ahead and let's swing by Bunker Hill one more time. If we spend enough time away, sometimes they uh, wandering merchants will recycle. And if Cricket is around, we can get our primary weapon and start using it against the big bad guys. Alright. Not enough time has been by. Let's stop by Vault 81. Right quick. Just work our way back towards Sanctuary so we can talk to Preston. Did I collect it? I must have. Oh well. All right, no cricket. No cricket here either. We'll take the lantern. Why not? What's up in here? We'll take this new cola. Bobby pins, this rat axe. We don't need to wrench. Place to sleep if you're on survival. Or if you just need to recover some health. You, know, you got busted by the bear on the other side of that hill and you got a crippled limb or something. We just swing over. We could go down to Diamond City, but we're not ready for that yet. So let's stop by Mercer Safe House one more time. There he is. He'll give us a quest. Excuse me. D do you got a Geiger counter, bub? Mine is in the shop. Y your HQ's new gal, right? Th thanks for setting up this place. Kind of wish you would have set up a cot or something, but at least it's safe, right? It, it, it is safe, right? You shouldn't have any problems out here. Yeah, this place is, is definitely better than the last hole in the wall I was at. It was literally a, a hole in the wall. We got a package incoming. You know, package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route. Got a new guy. New tourist that's going to help. He, 
He, he's all ready to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up, and our package has got a nice cozy shack to lay low in. Understood. Don't know what you'll be facing, but it's got to be dealt with. I'll mark it on your map. Go there and do what you HQ types do. Then K-8's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. Okay. Vault Tech office, huh? Uh, there's a few ghouls there. We'll finish up with Preston and that'll be everything. We'll take Preston along, in fact. We gotta find him here first. He's out wandering around here. Let's just, oops. Let's take that away and do this here. Okay, here he is. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby minute. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Your group came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. That means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Sure. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Not sure what I just got all that XP for. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. Oh, the yes. The of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. No. Our last leader was mm. General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. But one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. I always have to wait for this. Even an artificial patch can't fix this big delay. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, All we'll right. have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Hey there. I've heard that folks at Finch Farm need some help. Yeah, yeah. The men and men should be the ones that answer that call. We'll get there. Is there something you need? Yep, you, I want him to come. come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. So what we're going to do is, I need to clean up this house. It's trashed. It's a mess. Uh, it is... Probably, let's do... Take some rat away. 
Here it is. Uh, let that work. Good. Eat those mole rat chunks in this squirrel on a stick to clear out our inventory. And we're going to head over. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Is uh, we're going to store all that junk for now. I'm going to put this stuff away. We are going to go and do the Slocum's Joe next. And then work back towards... Actually, yeah. And then we're work back towards Grey Garden and Oberlin Station and get those quests. We can clear out the ghouls over at uh, Sunshine Tidings. But I want to get that Slocum's Joe going so we can start getting some income. Um, Slocum's Joe will allow you to earn income without having any of those perks. And let me show you here. So Charisma, usually you have to have like, what is it? Local leader and, you know, cap collector perks. We don't need those with Slocum's Joe because uh, you can put that up and start earning some caps straight away. Um, what do we want here? You might want to think about doing... Let's get some rad resistance going. Um, first of all, let's take a look here real quick. We could do that. We're not going to need that right now. Uh, lead belly. That's a perk that I won't spend a perk point on. I'll just add it now that it's available. Let's do some rad resistance. Actually, let's not do that. Let's do life giver. There we go. Good. Um, so next, we're going to head over to... Uh, is it Malden? Malden? No. Yeah, I think so. Hit up Slocum Joe and then head over towards Grey Garden and stuff. And by the time we get done with Grey Garden and Overland, by offering them help, we'll probably have Preston maxed out so we can kick him loose. Uh, so that's what we'll do next. Oh, there's stuff falling all over the place. That's wild. That engine just rolled down that wall. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next video.